Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a workflow when I take a portrait image for mid-journey and work in Photoshop to improve and add some things to make it really really beautiful and uh, interesting. So this is the image that we're going to start with, All right? Portrait image, but as you can see it has imperfections. So the first thing I did was bringing it into Google Colab to a specific notebook called for code former uh, that does uh, face restoration. I already shared about it, uh, by the way, on my channel, you can check it out. And basically, uh, I just uh, input the image and I got this image, right? Again, it's not perfect, but I'm going to show you how I improve things a bit later on, but it removes many of the imperfection and the issues that I have in the image, especially the eyes area and the nose and the lips and just created a really, really beautiful uh, image with, uh, well, basically without all the things that make it look weird. Now you can see that the, all the artifacts uh, and some of the imperfections, not all of them, most of them were removed. So it looks really nice now, but I want to make more changes. So this is a side by side. So you can see on the left side, uh, directly for me journey on the right side after the first restoration. All right, take a look at the eyes, nose area, lips, eyebrows, right, chin, right, so again, restore looks really nice. All right, all right, next I'm going to go to Arc, uh, it's also a first restoration, but the other one I actually prefer, uh, and I went with that, although this one also does first restoration as well, but I want to go to Human Mating. And uh, basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to separate the subject from the background. All right, we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to choose my image. All right, so as you can see here, uh, we can see the before and after. The most important thing for portraits, by the way, for masking is usually the making sure you nail the hair area. I mean, I've seen more co more complex hair uh, in other portraits and actually that uh, did a very very good job sometimes it just cut off things but overall it does a good job uh, so again saves a lot of time compared to doing it in Photoshop and I can just download it now all right next I generated uh, this uh, image of a uh, uh, interior castle luxury furniture and light and detail realistic and we're going to bring it into Photoshop for processing as well all right, uh, we are in Photoshop. So this is the mask one. Uh, this is, by the way, the, uh, this is the background and this is the, how it was before. I just want to show you that if you go to Photoshop, there's also an option here. If you choose, let me choose her. It's going to upload it and process it uh, in the background using AI and uh, this is in Photoshop. So it will select well, not in this case, and you can see that sometimes it does a good job, sometimes it does. That's why the other one is much, much better. But we're just gonna, gonna see that, yeah, this time we did a, a pretty good job. It's okay, but we're not gonna do it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, all right, we're gonna go here and uh, we're gonna bring our background, right? It's smaller, much smaller. This one is much higher resolution. Uh, I'm going to maintain it because I don't mind if it appears slightly blurry. It's in the background, All right? So, let's see. All right, fine. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, no. Uh, what we're gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. Yeah. It's okay. Should have left it bigger. That's fine. Actually, we can just go and do a convert to smart object as we move. So it won't distort it.
All right, cool. Nice. So we're going to stay with this composition. All right. Uh, we can just now rasterize the lure. Uh, and we're going to go to uh, filters. Uh, actually, I think this one. Filter. Neural filters. Now, this is something that some AI features that... Uh, Photoshop has, I wish they had more features. Uh, hopefully in the future, they really need to step up in my opinion. Uh, we're gonna make things, but I want to check out first. Mm. Harmonization, all right. So harmonize the color and luminosity of one layer to another layer to make flawless composite. All right, so this is something that I wanna do. All right. Uh, Let me choose this one and you see now you see the change how the color of the background the light now affects the the girl here the face and the clothing everything all right i'm just going to do okay and apply it and now if you go and do go back you see the difference before and after. Now we see the lighting, color, tone. All right, so this is one step. All right, next one we're gonna add makeup uh, to the face. Uh, keep in mind that this is another feature in Photoshop. So we're gonna go to, uh, I already put the makeup images here, All right, from Pixabay. And I'm going to go to uh, filter, neural filters, right? And we're going to go to uh, makeup transfer, I'm going to activate it. We're going to select the image if you choose makeup, for example, right? And we can choose another one, makeup, All right? So we can choose this makeup as well. See between the two which one we want. I just said because it's more prominent. Actually, I like them both. Let's stay with that. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with that. All right, and uh, uh, okay, so now we have a makeup. I'm gonna show you now before and after. Before and after. Let's get closer before and after before and after All right, so I just added makeup to the image all right next thing i think we, i think you're gonna really love it uh again we're gonna go filter neural filters you're gonna go to smart portrait all right and now look at that the options that we have here Happiness. What do you say? Reduce happiness. And you can see the progression here. They don't have lots of hair here. I could could have played. She's more serious now. You can just go on and be very happy. See what we have now? We have teeth. More. Higher happiness. More. Sinus. <laughs> She's very serious. You can go facial age, by the way. You can incur. Oh, it's already over. It's overriding the air. That's what I wanted to do. But if you want to see. Make her old. Definitely not what I want to achieve. So we go to zero. Uh, so let's see the happiness. All right, let's stay like that. Their thickness, eye direction. Actually, overriding it as you can see. But it's fine. 
we want some adjustment and let's look at the side expression surprise 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 want anger all right we're gonna leave it like that other options a direction Yeah, it's not working well for this image. Again, some of the results I told you that I really don't like. Definitely need to step up. But again, for some images, it works better than others. Uh, light direction. Now I'm going to stay with these settings. Yeah. Mess feathering. All right, cool. Uh, let me see, maybe with... I'm gonna stay with that. All right, so Smart Portrait, let's apply. And now we can see the difference. Before, after. Before and after. All right. Uh, next, um, we need to blur things a bit. All right. This can be do, but just going to the next layer, filter, blur, lens blur. Uh, and apply a bit of. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course I can go more and more. For example, if you want to kind of fix this uh, area. Leg modify. Do it six. Copy. Oh, my bad. I did it on the wrong one. So uh, go and this this one. A city. Yeah, it's not perfect, but fine. Uh, yeah, uh, we can also be the sharpen. Uh, we can do that. This is the uh, this is the highest resolution, so we can go and just save it. Filter, sharpen. Smart sharpen. So we can bring more details. Out a bit. Okay. See the eyelashes and the eye. You see, you see here in the lip is kind of a. Yeah, I can, never mind. I can just do it in another layer, but that's fine. We can actually just apply to certain areas and just mask it, but that's fine. I'm not gonna be perfect here. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, and keep in mind that if you want to uh, enlarge it even more, there's also image size that also you can choose preserve details and uh, it will use an AI to actually increase it uh, and uh, to make it, you know, high resolution uh, with still uh, preserving details. That's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, so here we go. Uh, kind of a working with Me Journey and Photoshop. Uh, to kind of mask portraits, bring us some other backgrounds, mix the lighting so it fits. And of course, the other things to do, but again, just an example. So if you want to work with Photoshop and Mid Journey and come up with something new, if you don't get the right background that you want or 
you want to mix well with the background and the and the subject and uh, play around more in photoshop enhance the image correct it correct facial uh, expressions sorry add facial expression correct artifacts in the image uh, you can do that and this is it for this video i hope you got uh, inspired learned something new consider leaving a like and subscribe and tell me in the comments if you uh, like those videos about me journey and uh, i will make more thanks for watching everybody i'll see you on the next one cheers